Win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the first edition of the weekly investment news show where we use algorithms, not people to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. Why watch the talking heads who might have a hidden agenda or an emotional bias when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? If our markets are down 25% and gold is up 50%, it, it wouldn't be a total shock to me. Look, I think retail stocks right now are the canary in the coal mine. The recession will ultimately come as well. Business cycles do not last forever. We're heading into a debt ceiling trap that will grind the whole system to a halt by June or July. Get the voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by interest rate risk, and then we'll wrap up with the health of the equity markets. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. First let's talk about the current 50 stock portfolios selected by natural selection algorithms with a bias toward growth stocks. As you can see there are currently 48 stocks in the portfolio with 77% winners and 23% losers. The average winning return is 45% with the best stock AMD returning 525% since it came into the portfolio about a year and a half ago. The average loss is 4% with the worst stock MAR losing 8% since it was purchased about 2 months ago. Here are the recent buys and sells. The natural selection algorithms have not yet identified two suitable stocks to add to the portfolio which is why there are question marks showing under recent buys. When the right conditions are met, Two stocks will be purchased bringing the total number up to the 50 stock limit. So now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk shows an elevated reading of high risk. Your government treasury investments should be at least partially hedged to prevent declines in value due to rising interest rates. And now for a read of the equity markets. In general the equity markets are showing relatively low risk. Both the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 are measuring at very low risk, while both the Nasdaq 100 and Russell 2000 are showing moderate risk. The metrics for both the Nasdaq 100 and Russell 2000 have been improving over the past several days. So tune in next week for an update. Thoughts all for this week July 17th, 2017. If you enjoyed watching our new iWin TV channel please subscribe below and leave a comment. Until next week we'll be watching the markets for you. To bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. Win TV. See what others can't.